the Coors, the double neck Gibson SG. Of course, everyone knows that is Stairway to Heaven, the iconic hit by the rock band Led Zeppelin. It is from their fourth album, which was released in 1971. The record is the fifth selling album of all time in the United States. Led Zeppelin was formed three years earlier in 1968. To mark their 50th anniversary, the band is releasing a book tomorrow called Led Zeppelin by Led Zeppelin. It features previously unseen photos compiled by the three surviving members. Charlie Daggett, I spoke to guitarist Jimmy Page in an interview you will only see on CBS This Morning. They elevated the rock band to a work of art. So when it came time to launch a book chronicling 50 years of Led Zeppelin, it seemed fitting that Jimmy Page would use London's National Portrait Gallery. We got a backstage pass. Mr. Page, how are you? Oh, well, hi, I'm Nice well. to meet you. Nice well, to meet you. Not only the band's guitarist, but creator and visionary. Was there a moment when the four of you got together for the first time and the first couple of times you thought, wow, this... Well, the very first rehearsal that we did... The very first rehearsal? ...was here in London in a rehearsal room where we have maybe a, an hour or two hours. We just got together and we counted one, two, three, four, and we were in and we were all playing. And we just kept extending the song and jamming on it. And by the end of it, I absolutely guarantee that it was a life-changing experience for everybody from that point. You know, everyone knew that they'd never played with musical equals. Musical equals without equal. Robert Plant and drummer John Bonham were just 20-year-olds. Bassist John Paul Jones, 22, and Page, 24, were already veteran musicians. It's the first book about Led Zeppelin by Led Zeppelin. An extensive archive of previously unseen photos hand-picked by the surviving members of the band, even if they were seeing some of them for the first time. You're paying attention to the music or you're getting ready to perform. That's right, that's right. The last thing in your mind really is wanting to sort of stop and pose for photographs so we just get on with things. The first gig will say in Scandinavia because I, I was very keen to be able to have the group playing in front of an audience before we went in the studio. They would be an album band, one classic at a time. From Led Zeppelin one through 1982's Coda. Nine studio albums that sold more than 300 million copies around the world. One of the most successful catalogs of the rock age. In recent years, Page has tried to keep the Zeppelin in the air. Presiding over a series of archive releases. By the mid-70s, Led Zeppelin had created every rock band stereotype. But back in 1968, Page's vision was unique. I knew that the way to do it was to have four musicians that were just, you know, really locked in tight and everyone could be heard on the records and it wasn't just about one person, but the overall. But it meant they could never be Led Zeppelin without each other. So when drummer John Bonham died in 1980, that meant the end of the band, too. In 2007, with Bonham's son, Jason, on drums, Paige, Plant, and Jones regrouped at London's O2 Arena. 20 million fans applied for the 20,000 tickets. Look, I, I have learned not to ask you about Led Zeppelin mm. reforming. I've seen yeah. what happens when interviewers do that. Yeah. So I'm not going to ask you. You see the subject's face start to drop. But those fans might not be alone in missing the magic. Would you like to see it? Well, I'd like to look at that video of us in uh, 11 years ago at the O2. That's you said that in the celebration book. Celebration day. You said that in the book. You said it, what a marvelous day it was. Well, I'm pretty consistent. <laughs> <laughs> As consistent as he's been since 1968, when he created a band that would last little more than a decade, but who will rock and roll forever. For CBS This Morning, Charlie Daggett, 
London. Everybody at home is singing that last chord. Because we yes. were. Yeah. <laughs> you guys play the guitar. Is he any good? Uh, it was, <laughs> every single yeah. rock trope that ever yeah. happened came from Jimmy Page yeah, yeah. and Jimmy. No, he's yeah. amazing. And he was an amazing session musician before that. Yeah.